24 TV. Remember, Smart 24 TV is your number one business channel, bringing you business content 24 hours and seven days a week. My name is Anthony, and um, I'm here to give you a little up a bit about what's happening in the current financial market trends uh, around the globe and uh, we will start off with the uganda securities exchange hope into nairobi and then expand to other exchanges in africa giving you the latest updates and the top stories that are making headlines on these stock exchanges and who is moving the markets at at the moment uh, but before we go ahead i want to remind you that Altex east africa is your number one private stock exchange that is taking the capital markets of east africa by storm now the Altex east africa platform is giving you a chance to buy treasury bonds in east africa with your mobile phone simply grab your phone and dial star 292 hash and now, if you follow through the prompts, you will be able to buy and sell treasury bonds in East Africa. And uh, with Otex East Africa, we are saying you can do something new. Markets open at exactly 15 minutes past 8 a.m. And they do close at 15 minutes past 3 p.m. East African Standard Time. Uh, remember, Otex is also regulated by the Capital Markets Authority of Uganda. They were given a license to operate in Uganda. So you can be rest assured that you're dealing with the right entity that is legally binding. Now let's get into the business of the stock exchange. Uh, yesterday was a Wednesday, yes, and uh, there was a lot of fire on the stock exchange uh, in uh, the different parts of the world, especially starting from the global markets. There was an overall decline in the uh, pricing for the big stocks, especially the tech stocks, on Tuesday. Uh, but however, here in Uganda, market activity was quite a little bit slower. Um, uh, we had just two equities participate in trading on the Uganda Securities Exchange at uh, the Wednesday trading day. However, the day also realized a little bit of uh, decline, a uh, rather improvement in uh, the OSHA index, uh, meaning there was an overall um, gain in the value of the OSHA index. The, the index, remember, gives you a good picture of what's happening overall on a certain set of companies. We do have um, the, N, uh, the, the LCI, the local company index, which tracks the local or domestic stocks, giving you what's happening in the local stocks world, and uh, then the OSHA index giving us the whole package. And um, at the moment, uh, the in index, that is the benchmark, uh, that is your share index, uh, shows a better picture of what's happening on the exchange uh, with a 2.16 inch uh, rising at about 1,207.50 uh, points closing on Wednesday trading. Currently, the trades show a one-week loss of 0.58% and a four-week loss of 0.53%. Uh, yet an overall year-to-date loss of 0.42%. And uh, this is currently what's happening at the moment for the old share index. The local company index maintained its value at 273.26 points, uh, meaning that's a little bit more stable. And uh, we are looking at many of the domestic listings maintaining their prices all through the trading on uh, Wednesday. Now, the day ended with two equities participating and the day ended with seven gainers. Impressively, there were no losers. And that's exactly what happened at the Wednesday trading. National Media Group this time around came on top. Remember, National Media Group lost value on uh, Tuesday, uh, but on Wednesday uh, morning, it gained value back to about uh, 433.77 Ugandan shillings price. Overall, a 0.28% uh, increase in price there uh, was registered. And um, main, mainly those cross listings had a similar movement in price on the Uganda Securities Exchange uh, with close to 0.27% share price appreciation. Uh, we did have as well Equity Bank Limited uh, gain 0.27% up to 1,350.96. No activity, but just a price appreciation 
for the day. And Centum Investments at a closing price of 200 and 62.89 Ugandan shillings, whereas um, the East African Breweries Limited stock had 5,082.8.54 Ugandan shillings in terms of closing price at a 0.27% gain uh, there on the exchange. Jubilee Holdings Limited also gained 0.275%. Uh, up to a price of 5,345.43 Ugandan shillings and KCB Group also continued to gain 0.27% up to a price of 1,124.59 Ugandan shillings per share. Impressively, like I said, there were no losers on the market so we are not going to mention any losers on the market there were particularly no losers for this uh, trading uh, on the Uganda Securities Exchange. However, the big movers were Meme and MTN, and they were actually the only movers, with MTN Uganda trading the biggest volume at 9,300 shares volume traded, and Meme trading 4,620 uh, shares. Uh, on Wednesday. Uh, we may maintain their price at 300 shillings and MTN at exactly 179.0 Ugandan shillings. Both stocks are good dividend issuers. Um, however, last year, um, we did quite better in giving out a bigger dividend to their shareholders despite a very rough year on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Um, we issued a 54.9 shillings per share as dividends for last year and uh, MTN issued 4.7 shillings per share as per last year and that shows the disparity within the companies but uh, in as far as the market capitalization is concerned uh, MTN is the second most valuable on the Uganda Securities Exchange and currently the second most traded on stock as well uh, rather the third most traded on stock as well on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Recently, Umeme has been out doing most of the listings on the uh, Uganda Securities Exchange uh, with its trading uh, going up uh, to the first position in year to date, first position in monthly performance and in quarterly performance as well. Of course, this is following their public notice to the public that they will be exiting in 2025, uh, which is, uh, of course, influencing this kind of movement that we are seeing on the current uh, markets here in the Uganda Securities Exchange tradings. Um, at the moment, also in summary, we had a 3.05 million turnover, uh, that's million Ugandan shillings turnover on the market of the shares that were traded on the exchange. Comparing this with the previous day, um, there was a 31% decline in turnover as well. Like I said, on Tuesday, uh, we had a little bit more volumes there from CIPLA, uh, Quality Chemical Industries. We had some volumes from uh, we had some volumes from Uganda Clays Limited, who was the biggest gainer on Tuesday, and uh, we also had some big gains from uh, the Stanbic stock uh, which was traded on uh, last on Tuesday uh, but this time around only two listings participated in trading hence the decline in the turnover this time around uh, but remember to trade on the exchange at the Uganda Securities Exchange you simply need one or two things number one you need a security central depository account now like a bank account which keeps money the Security Central Depository is where your shares, where your bonds, where your bills or treasury bills are going to be kept. And so you need to open one before you can do any, um, any more activity on the Uganda Securities Exchange. And to open one, it's quite simple. Uh, it has been made easy. You can go through a number of steps. Number one, you can use your MTN line and uh, go to your dial simply star one six five star and then five and then seven so star one six five star five seven hash when you do that and say yes you will have a dialogue box come down and uh, you will be able to uh, go to the registry of the uganda securities exchange to register you need a national id and uh, 
or if you don't have one at least a national identification number and uh, the rest is absolutely history you don't need a single coin to open this account and it is not closed even when you don't buy shares immediately in the short term you will be able to benefit from having an account with uh, the uganda securities exchange where in case you want to buy your shares can be kept safe on that platform at the uganda securities exchange and that's my friend uh, the story of the uganda securities exchange let's move on ahead to uh, the nairobi securities exchange and have a look at what the trades look like on the nairobi stock exchange at the moment 49 listings are said to have participated in trading on wednesday and that these were, uh, were ending the day with about 16 gaining gaining uh, listings and about 25 losing listings on wednesday morning uh, boc kenya or cooperative bank of kenya led the gainers this time round at a 10 percent share price appreciation up to 77 kenyan shillings per share now who is bank of uh, BOC Kenya. Now, this is a Kenyan based company primarily engaged in uh, chemical industry. And uh, the company, alongside with its subsidiaries, is engaged in the manufacture and sale of industrial as well as medical gases as well as the sale of welding products. The company subsidiaries include uh, the Tanzanian um, uh, owned company and a Kenyan company as well as a Ugandan company and uh, these could be east african oxygen limited and uh, boc tanzania and boc uganda limited as well um the boc kenya uh, company or stock currently is uh, valued at 1.5 billion kenyan shillings which is uh, the 37th most valuable on the nairobi securities exchange and uh, by closing yesterday, the market at a seven shillings price rise up to 77 shillings per share. Uh, this was from the previous 70.0 shillings that was seen on uh, Tuesday trading. Uh, this was a result of a trade of over 100 shares, about 7,700 Kenyan shillings on Wednesday and the 19.5 million outstanding shares volume currently floating on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. The company has experienced 10% increase in price in not just one day, but in one week, in four weeks, and in three months as well. Now that means a lot. It means that uh, this company has been trading at 70 shillings since last year, in the month of at least November. Uh, because you're counting three months december jan and then feb that means uh it has been a very big move for the company uh, as part of the trading yesterday in terms of year to date they are counting um that ranked the 10th in terms of year to date on the nairobi securities e exchange and also shareholders can be highly optimistic of boc kenya because they are uh, still gaining a 10% in the weekly performance and the monthly performance. However, um, I mean that this is the flip side of things a little bit. Uh, BOC Kenya is the 54th most traded on stock on the Nairobi Securities Exchange out of 65 listings. So activity hasn't been as intense as we would want it yet to make this stock among some of the most investable in uh, on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. In the last three months, they have just had a volume of just 15,200 shares, and these are valued at 1.07 million and in 32 deals that have been recorded in the period. That shows definitely that there is still a little more activity required for the stock. But at least um, in terms of gaining price, we are seeing a very healthy stock here. And in the longer term, probably value might uh, be experienced as well on the uh, this particular stock at Nairobi Securities Exchange. Now, Olympia Capital Holdings followed closely at a total gain of 9.54% on a Wednesday, uh, whereas Car and General Kenya followed with a 6.62% gain and Sassini Tea and Coffee uh, with a 3.48% gain 
On the losing side, Express Kenya came out last uh, with an end-of-day price depreciation of 9.9% at exactly 9.46 Kenyan shillings closing price. Flame Tree Group Holdings uh, lost 9.23% and Sanlam Kenya lost 7.13%, whereas Home Africa lost 6.25% percent on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Now Safaricom, uh, the equity here that is one of the most traded on, came out at, still at the top of the biggest movers with 11.2 million shares uh, that are currently trading. I told you if you're out there and uh, you would want to be a good investor with a very uh, nice portfolio to look at, you should be investing in some of these stocks. I mean Safaricom is a stock that trades very, uh, very, very cheap stock, 23.5 Kenyan shillings. Now you can multiply that by 32 and find out how much that is in Ugandan shillings, but I'm sure it's not above 1,500. So you, you, can, you can look into that and consider diversifying your portfolio with some of these stocks that are more traded on than others. They will give you a lot of return in the longer term but also in the short term if you want uh, that value in that format now at 11.42 million at 11.2 million shares traded on wednesday the gross turnover at safaricom was 263 million kenyan shillings we are talking 200 million kenyan shillings on a single day we don't know these traders could be of foreign investors mainly they could be domestic investors but it doesn't matter it means the company's stock is trading and the company is um is is is, is one of the people the companies people look out for when they first uh, go on the exchange but also i want you to take precaution about safaricom because um in the recent past uh, there's been a, quite a number of losses on the company's stock uh, for example take a look at their when you take a look at their year-to-date performance, currently they are losing 2.69% uh, volume, 2.69% uh, value of the price valuation, and this is the 38th out of 65 listings. But what makes up for that? The trade, right? Because if you have a lot of trading, it means people can easily come in, people can easily go out, right? So even when things are really bad, you expect at least some people to be selling at, at, at that particular moment and buyers to still be coming in, right? So Safaricom, regardless, is the number one most traded on stock in the Uganda's Nairobi Securities Exchange in the past three months from the 22nd of November to the 22nd of February 2023. And in this period, uh, Safaricom has recorded about close to uh, 358 million shares volume in 13,723 deals. Now, that's a big deal breaker for you at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. KCB Group also had 6,116,000 ,000 shares. Um, and, uh, when you look at Cooperative Bank of Kenya, it had about 1.15 million definitely something uh, we didn't expect this time around uh, but uh, we are not seeing kenya power and lighting company coming this time and equity group holdings those are companies that also have been trying to uh, put up a very good activity on uh, the nairobi securities exchange unfortunately at the end of the day uh, nairobi overall lost value on the all share index that is the benchmark index and paired about 0 0.08 points uh, which was a 0.06% loss uh, down to 127.04 Kenyan shillings, uh, rather 127.04 points uh, on that index. The NSE20, tracking the big boys like Safaricom, ABSA, Diamond Trust Bank and the like, the top 20 companies also lost 0.61% and the NSE25 in the same line lost 0.25%. And that's the trading, my friend, from the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And uh, you can trade on Nairobi. We are trying to make a lot of efforts uh, to see that we have the integration of the East African capital markets. That's a project that is ongoing, and we hope it comes sooner than later, because we need it yesterday. Because uh, 
when you look at the barriers to trade, one of them has been uh, some of those uh, things like trading across borders that has a lot of uh, transaction fees involved in between. Uh, it has a lot to do with also how the different uh, companies have diff rather different stock exchanges have different conditions of trade and that has been causing a lot of um, inconvenience to investors so I'm um, praying that by the end of this year something could be done to integrate our market into one and that would be a big push uh, for us as investors and also, also as a company and an economy now let's get to crossover to uh, the United States and have a look at the big indices and what seemed to be a market rally on uh, Wednesday morning. Now, according to a newsletter by Jared Bleeker on Wednesday morning, a reporter focused on the financial markets there on the United States, the major US indices had their worst day of 2023 on Tuesday. Now, Nasdaq um, closing down uh, was more than 6% downwards uh, from its early Feb high. Meanwhile, the US Treasury rates jumped to five months high uh, with the Federal Reserve's hawkish, uh, um, hawkishness uh, on focus at the moment. The US equities, uh, particularly the tech stocks, are equally weakening against the backdrop of interest rates hikes that are once again surging much higher. Uh, we've also seen this play out several times uh, since stocks peaked over a year ago when uh, the interest rates volatility in the bond market uh, gave way to the stock market volatility, meaning stocks were actually selling off. Uh, the difference this time in 2023, as we've been uh, seeing uh, recently on the show, uh, is that uh, the growth in stocks, uh, like uh, the unloved tech stocks at the moment, had once again been leading the way after taking uh, the backseat uh, to cyclical and value stocks throughout 2022. The chart, um, when you look at the chart on the, the Nasdaq uh, performance, it shows that many worst performing stocks from 2022 are this year's winners. When you look at, for example, uh, people like Team, uh, these um, these companies that are on Nasdaq, the technology companies, many of them that were performing really badly last year are coming at the front this time round. And last year's dads uh, caught Wall Street uh, flat-footed and short uh, this year, mounting a vicious rip your face off rally that we are seeing at the moment. Tesla, uh, for example, is up by 60% in 2023. 60% in 2023 after shedding three quarters of its value uh, from its November 2021 high. And uh, NVIDIA and Meta Platforms, Meta Platforms is where we have Facebook, are uh, each holding on to gains of at least 40% uh, more or more this year. The result is that investors who are currently who are massively underwater uh, on tech names uh, coming into the year uh, uh, were given actually a tantalizing reminder uh, to the fast and furious gains uh, that were made in space uh, in terms of um, the, the period that we are looking at the last quarter and the first quarter of 2023. Uh, now, shall this rally continue? I don't know, but uh, we definitely hope for the best. And uh, you need to brace yourself as an investor this time around and get to make more research before investing because there's a lot happening. And uh, cryptocurrency markets are also up uh, with the Bitcoin uh, trying to struggle to get back to the 25,000 US dollar mark and a couple of other coins as well. Thank you so much, my friend, for joining us this morning and for watching Smart24 TV. Remember, my name is Anthony and you can follow me on Twitter at Anthony Sebale. You can also follow Smart24 TV at smart24tv.com. Uh, and uh, you can get to uh, give us feedback on those platforms and uh, get to uh, our also YouTube live stream at Smart24 TV Live. And I uh, get to comment, uh, get to like the shows and keep uh, tuned on Smart24 TV because we are here to support business. We are here to see that our economy grows. We are here to see that 
you as a businessman you prosper through knowledge and information disseminated through smart 24 tv i want to remind you of Altex is africa your number one private stock exchange get to Altex and buy some bonds with a simply a, a simple dial of star 29 to hash and following those simple one two three steps uh, to enjoy that extra income thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow same time same place stay safe bye for now Smart 24, driving business.